Aromatic adventures with the candle enthusiast. It's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day, and where better to be than the Yankee Candle Village in South Deerfield, Massachusetts, the flagship store. It is August, I don't know what the date is, but it's the day before the Halloween release party. Uh, this is when they put out all of the new merchandise, uh, the, the new fragrances, the, the returning beloved fragrances, all of the accessories, merchandise but they also decorate the inside of the village, kind of like a haunted attraction, if you will. And it's such a fun little party celebration. It truly kicks off the Halloween season for me every year. This is my seventh year documenting uh, this party, but I've frequented this event for many, many years prior, and it truly is one of my favorite things to do all year round. So yes, I've come early to take a sneak peek of what is already on the shelves. There'll be plenty more tomorrow, but the benefit is it's really quiet inside. Not much going on except for the setup for tomorrow. So I figured we'd go on in, take a little sneak peek, see what they have uh, to offer so far, and then tomorrow morning we'll be back here bright and early to experience the Halloween preview party for 2022. I want to welcome you folks to join me. That is if you wish to do so. You will? Well then let's do this. Alright folks, so the moment of truth, we're inside the village, let's check out what the art team has in store for 2022. I see them all working. Right down the hall here is the entryway to the Halloween display room and things look great all the way from back here. So let's get an up close look and uh, get into the, the Halloween spirit, shall we? Again, uh, the visual staff here at the, the village, they're still hard at work. They've been uh, working on this event for uh, over three weeks, they've been telling me, uh, building all the props, the sets, and, and getting ready. But they've only just been able to get on the floor in this display room and put the props and sets up for just the past few days. So they're hard at work, and I'm sure that uh, you know, they'll be going probably late into the evening. This massive pumpkin-headed scarecrow creature perched on top of the Yankee Candle Village truck. 
is holding above his head a banner reading the theme of this year's haunted attraction display room, the Scarecrow Farm. And I love it. This is completely my aesthetic. Standing back here and kind of taking it in, I'm already impressed with what I see. Uh, I'm just going to keep looking around and, and uh, get some ideas of some products that I might want to take home tomorrow. Uh, I have a budget, but the, you know, you, you gotta spend you gotta spend money sometimes. Now, Halloween comes but once a year, right? That's what I say. Oh, I yeah. love anything witches brew. You know, Yankee Candles witches brew is possibly my favorite Yankee candle uh, of all time. So anything that uh, can act as an accessory uh, during my witch's brew burning it, it definitely works. And uh, this is certainly no exception. So after being inside for a while, I just came out and there seemed to be something a little bit wicked uh, what do they say? Something wicked this way comes. These dark clouds in the sky, this wind, leaves rustling. Uh, something seems to be telling us that Halloween is on its way. Plenty of stuff to see today, but of course everything will be ready tomorrow. But for now, I think it's time for me to retreat for the evening, get a bite to eat, do a little bit of editing, and I'll see you folks real soon. Car's locked. I knew it would be. And it is August 27th, the day of the 2022 Halloween preview party for Yankee Candle. And uh, I'm ready to go. But I received very special news last evening. The fine folks from the Yankee Candle Village uh, reached out to me. They said, oh, we, we saw that you were here today in the village filming. How about we let you in, you know, a, a good half hour before we officially open up the doors. So this way I can have the place to myself to document all of the, the candles, the accessories, the goodies, the decorations. We will, that's, that's a collective, me and you, we will be the very first to uh, lay our eyes on these products, get a nice up close and personal look. I'm excited. We have a special entrance right here where they're going to let us in. The line is forming out front, so I think I'm just going to have a, a comfortable seat out on the patio, enjoy myself, and uh, in no time at all, we'll be entering the doors. It's not an exaggeration. I get a little bit nervous. Maybe it's just excitement, but uh, no matter how many times uh, I do this uh, at, the, at the village for Halloween, so much excitement, so much anticipation, I guess is the right word. Standing at the front doors, the line has uh, really filled out. We have, this is it, we have the Yankee Candle Village to ourselves. And the Halloween room, as we saw yesterday, is right behind me. But they have completed all of the decorations, all of the adornments, and the Halloween products, including the candles. And this is really it. Uh, I, I, I walked through this room real quick, but this is really the first time I'm getting a look at everything. So we're gonna experience this together. Let's start right here at the beginning of the room. We have returning a fragrance from last year, 2021, entitled a Spooky a Spider a Cider. Now, I was a big, big fan of this fragrance. I really enjoy what I call 
Autumn Phase 3 candles. Uh, and that's going to be the bounty, you know, the warm baked goods, you know, fresh out of the kitchen, the baking spices, the baked apples and pears, things of that nature. And this is a candle that fits that autumn phase three, November-ish time frame, but also is a perfect candle, in my humble opinion, for Halloween. The one thing that I immediately thought of last year when I smelled that candle was... McDonald's apple pies. We've all had one. Don't lie. You've had one too. So nostalgic, this candle. But also on this shelf, I'm seeing a new uh, hurricanes, new pillars for uh, your large for format candles. This one having a scarecrow and jack-o'-lantern. Really nice ombre of blue fading into an orange. But if you're looking for something that's a little bit more, you know, blinged out, a little bit something more glossy, a little bit shiny, I love this chrome bat hurricane. Get a closer look at this as time goes on, but it is also another ombre effect on that glass. So already two great options. Personally, I've fallen in love with that Scarecrow hurricane already. Most likely, that will be coming home with me today. A returning product from last year, but it was a highly, highly popular one. Silhouetted trick-or-treaters, so reminiscent of like movies like Halloween 3. Now, that comes in the shade, and it comes in the pillar. And I'm seeing the Scarecrow shade also available this year. I am enjoying these different shaped shades. They're uh, a little less tapered than they, they have been in the past. I think that's to accommodate the dual wicks that the signature collection candles have. Phantasmagoria, something that we saw quite similar to last year, but all brand new products. Uh, tea light holders, uh, votive holders, our bony skeleton friends, the spooky base, and protruding from it, a skeleton arm and hand holding this lantern. The skeleton hand holding this floral, this rose, but if you're into more of the dark, elegantly gothic floral pieces, we have a skeleton hand holding that black flower. A skeleton hand grasping this bottle of tonic, pouring it into that rocks glass, cocktail glass. Uh, but that cocktail glass is going to, uh, of course, be where you're uh, going to be putting your wax. I'm telling you, a lot of hard choices today. This very large, almost life-size skull candle holder with a crown of roses. One that I wasn't sure would be returning until just recently is Haunted Hayride in the Two Wick Signature Collection uh, tumbler. I love how these tumblers are 360 degrees when it comes to the labels. It almost tells like a, a story, kind of like a comic strip in the Sunday papers. The jack-o'-lantern hovering over uh, the guests or, or soon to be guests flooding this space. The lightning and the sound effects enhancing the experience. This pumpkin-headed creature the scarecrow perched on top of the Yankee Candle truck, which is the centerpiece of the room. He's hanging on. He's hanging on to that truck. Mystic Moon returning uh, two years in a row now. Bony Bunch is all over the place.
here it is. Which is brew, which is brew. And what's really cool about this is that I'm seeing the Witch's Brew is, is being released in two different formats. We have the aluminum lid tumbler with all of the wraparound imagery, two wicks, but also in the glass lid, kind of like the updated version of the house warmer jar, the classic. Which one is, well, which one would you choose? I'm a fan of the glass lid, but I am very much a fan of the wraparound label that the glass lid vessel doesn't have. Get both. So here we have something that's been popular the past few years, and that's going to be these trays with three individual tea light slash votive holders. I'm sure uh, they would be able to support either one. This year we have a ghost, a jack-o'-lantern, and my favorite, the owl. Uh, I really, really like this set. And the ghost looks like it comes uh, in a different format. You have the votive tea light holder inside there. Uh, so you can just buy the ghost. We have an, our, our assortment of Alumalids. I only saw two uh, yesterday, but this one is actually my favorite and it, they must have put it out last night or early this morning. It's this uh, kind of Day of the Dead-ish looking skull and rose. We have the jack-o'-lantern that we saw last year, but a different expression. Uh, that was one of my favorite pieces that I picked up last year. And then the promotion this year, the promotion with a $30 purchase for $15, you can go home with this jack-o'-lantern candy dish. And this could hold a candle as well. I mean, uh, and several different formats of candles. Always a good deal. I usually take advantage of that deal every year. Okay, so also returning, uh, this is the third year for Jack-O-Lantern. I was a big fan of this one. And whenever there's a new pumpkin spice driven candle, you know, it's always a little bit like, really, do we need another? Well, in this case, uh, I think it was a total success. It is everything we want from a pum pumpkin spice candle, but also has a lot of unique qualities that truly brings this pumpkin spice feeling to the outdoors. It, it has a lot of outdoor aromas and nuances. And a format that I think is going to be very welcomed this year is the three wick tumbler Halloween candles. And that's gonna be coming in Witch's Brew, Mystic Moon, and Jack-O-Lantern, and Spooky Spider Cider. For you folks who are really into the powerhouse candles, you really like getting extra flame going, this is a great option this year. I'm gonna unleash the beast in about 60 seconds. All right, I'm with you. Good luck with this. Thank you very much. All right, the games begin. Okay. Did you hear that, folks? The games begin. They're about to open up the door right here, and here they come.
two folks that have uh, these wonderful t-shirts. I don't know if you can uh, take a look at those. Uh, they look kind of familiar. Uh, maybe we'll put a link for something like that in the description. But folks, uh, great to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. Hello, hello. And this is, is your all-time favorite Halloween fragrance. Which one am I getting at? Which is brew? Yeah, and we're all in the same boat here. And can we, can we ask the, is this Bear? Hey, Bear. <laughs> Doing a little candle shopping. Well, guys, thank you so yeah, much. Thank you, Shane. Have a wonderful day. You too. And uh, happy Halloween. All right, so I just met these awesome folks who have two carts fully stocked. So let's find out what they are purchasing today. So if you could, wait, your name was? My name is Susan. Susan, nice to meet you. Hi. And what are we, what are we taking home today? Um, buying some witch's brew. Okay. Buying this little votive handle. I like it. For my dogs, because I have three Labradors. <laughs> and, and a bunch more of other stuff. <laughs> I see a lot of candles. I hope you don't mind. Uh, Absolutely not. Look at this. We got two cards filled. And it looks like you certainly must be a witch's brew fan. But what um, is your favorite Yankee candle fragrance? Or, or, or should I say Halloween fragrance? I have to say the Spooky Cider. Really? Absolutely. I was a huge fan, huge fan. I'll, we will be buying one this year as well for myself. Well, thank you so much. And your name, sir? Tom. Tom, nice to meet you guys. Happy shopping. Thank you. And happy Halloween. Thank you. But keep in mind, I, I have two, two shopping carts of things to share with you today. So let's let's jump right into it. Well, folks, that's just about going to do it for the 2022 Halloween launch party. I want to thank you, as always, for joining me on uh, these little adventures. Certainly uh, a great experience this year. I hope your Yankee Candle shopping went as smoothly as mine has. Uh, but uh, that's going to it. That's going to be it. I got all my stuff done. Uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed our uh, uh, video this year. Also, the live video, if you haven't seen, I filmed a, a live video today and showed all of the products that are available for sale. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you check out the link in the description below. And there's nothing else to do but to say goodbye to Yankee for the time being and hit the road. As always, thank you for joining. I will be seeing you soon. But until then, happy Halloween. And remember to always live enthusiastically. See you next time.